Fenny Martinez looks the way Sancho should, but looks are deceiving is one of the messages we learn from this play, which has the tired look of a Broadway company on the last leg of a too long run, the costumes gone shabby, the snap gone from the cast. No one can be what he wants me to be. Oh, what does he want of me? Sheena Easton, a Grammy-winning pop star brought in to attract a younger audience, is not an actress, and her pop vocalizing isn't the clearest crystal soprano the audience needs to see her earthy Aldanza, yet hear her visionary Dulcinea. Hit that note. Yes, the songs are great and the story is strong, but I don't think I'm tilting at windmills. Compare this to most happy feller crazy for you. I'm not sure this unimaginative and threadbare production would be a hit in 1992. Well, and as you know, on Broadway, opening tonight, a revival of Man of La Mancha, starring Raul Julia and Sheena Easton. Dennis Cunningham is here now with his review for us. Dennis? Ernie, thank you. Millions of people have warm and kind thoughts about the musical called Man of La Mancha. Millions know some of the songs, at least some. The Impossible Dream, in fact, is one of the all-time great barroom sing-alongs. But how many of us really know the show? Or at least the current and god-awful Broadway production, the only one, unfortunately, I've ever seen. How many of us know just what a ponderous, pretentious, galumphing piece of stage machinery it is? It is a world of ungainly and murky melodramatics, the conceit being that the great author Miguel de Cervantes, the creator of Don Quixote, Raul Julia, is in the late 16th century imprisoned in Seville by the dreaded Inquisition, and whiles away the time by playing out the story of Don Quixote, the ultimate idealist. That story involves the dreaded Sheena Easton as a slatternly low-down kitchen wench though she looks fresh from a salon on West 46th Street. But there she is, glaring, smoldering, glowering, damn near everything but acting, in a stunningly inadequate effort. Mr. Julia himself, though a fine actor under most circumstances, here seems always on the verge of walking off to take a nap. And the rest of the cast is every bit as coldly off-handed and automatic like some lost tribe of carnival people. In all, it's a cheesy enterprise, which, most shockingly, fancies itself not just great theater, but great theater. See, she found a place to fall down there. What a babe, indeed. <laughs> By the way, the musical is performed without an intermission and runs close to two hours and 25 minutes. Why intermission lasts for all that time? I think the reasoning is that if you ever got out for the intermission, <laughs> you'd never go back. Oh. This is Byron Allen Show.